It's easiest to use the tool, the pen tool, if you will turn the grid on under view and then grid show grid. Now with your pen tool click to place your first point then your second but hold the mouse button don't let go drag down until you have the right top curve of your heart then go down to the bottom point and just click no need to drag flash creates the second curve for you then to create the next curve you click and drag and then you simply click no dragging required because flash creates the second curve for you now if it's not quite right you do have the arrow tool that will let you change the curves you just mouse over the edge and you'll see either the curve or the triangle that will let you choose a corner and reshape it but it's much easier if you use the sub select tool this will show you the points. If you zoom in, you can see the points much better. You'll see that the tangent handles are there so that you can click and drag them. And of course, you can select the points at any time and move those. Now we're going to draw a simple rectangle with the arrow tool. I mean, excuse me, pen tool. We're just clicking, moving to a next, the next point and clicking again. No dragging at all because we're not trying to create curves. However, with the arrow tool, we can add curves. We can also drag our corners out. and redefine our curves. Now with the sub select tool again we'll be able to see points once we click on the line. We'll need to zoom in again but we don't see tangent handles. That's because you must click on a point in order to see them. Now you can click the points, move them, or drag the tangent handles up or down. And you can also drag them out or in. It's starting to look like a flower petal. <laughs> 